is the Earth actually flat? Before saying, what kind of silly question is that? Answer this, why do you think it's flat? Yes, you've been taught so far that it's round, like a globe, both in schools and real life. But have you seen it with your own eyes? No, you haven't, but there are many photos taken from space and you see these photos every day, right? So, who took these photos? Friends vacationing in space? Those photos you see, they all come from one organization, don't they? You've always looked at the same map. However, for Australians, that map is like this. Are you curious about how the United Nations sees it? Let me show you their logo then. Now think again. Is the Earth flat or round? If you are looking for the claims made about the flat Earth theory and the answers given to these claims, you are in the wrong place. Even a small search on this topic would easily lead you to hundreds of videos. To briefly summarize, there is a claim that the Earth is actually flat, like a plate, with the North Pole in the middle and the South Pole surrounding the edges. There are dozens of pieces of evidence put forward for this claim. There is even a dome over this flat Earth. The Sun and the Moon are actually much smaller and much closer to us. Yes, it might seem a bit funny at first, but when you think about it and do a little research, when you start examining the claims put forward, your mind starts to waver. A few thousand years ago, people thought the Earth was flat. It wasn't because people back then were stupid or prone to believing silly things. When they looked around and observed, they saw most things as flat. Aristotle summarized the objections and doubts raised. First, those who traveled south said that some stars in the sky were no longer visible. Second, during a lunar eclipse, the shape of the Earth's shadow was always like an arc inside a circle. Third, ships traveling at sea would disappear once they crossed the horizon line. There were some explanations for all these doubts with the flat Earth view, just as there are attempts today. But on the other hand, the idea of a spherical Earth also began to emerge gradually. Many people who seem sensible talk about the flat Earth theory, presenting evidence that seems logical. And you're saying, I've watched hundreds of videos on this topic and started to think the same way, aren't you? Firstly, I haven't dragged this topic on too long. Those who claim the Earth is flat have, and they continue to do so. They don't have a scientific theory, and what they claim to be scientific is actually conspiracy theories. Do you know why we call them conspiracy theories? Because they claim that photos of the Earth taken from space are photoshopped, and that the powers that control the world are deceiving us. They think that NASA has spent billions of dollars to convince us that they've gone to space. In addition, they claim that hundreds of space agencies around the world are partners with NASA in this conspiracy and that they regularly spread these images and news. After these and similar pieces of information, they claim you have woken up and manipulate you, making you believe that the Earth is flat by telling you that you are among the chosen ones. These conspiracy theorists are indeed very successful at manipulating people. But if you use your common sense, you can easily see that what these people say is false. If you want the most basic evidence that the Earth is round, we can start with the lunar eclipse. When the Earth's shadow falls on the moon, this shadow always appears round. Only a round object can create a round shadow from every angle. Ships slowly disappear over the horizon at sea or in wide open spaces. First, the lower parts disappear, then the upper parts. This indicates that the Earth's surface is curved. Gravity on the Earth's surface pulls downwards everywhere. This is the pull towards the center of the Earth, which behaves this way in a round object. Different constellations can be seen in different hemispheres. For example, the Southern Cross seen in the Southern Hemisphere is not visible from the Northern Hemisphere. This shows that the Earth is round and offers different sky views from different angles. If, despite all this, flat Earth theorists still seem logical to you, the choice is yours. Science always wins. Thanks for listening, my friend. If you enjoyed this video and don't want to miss out on other great videos like this one, you can support me by subscribing and liking the video. This way, you'll also stay updated. We love you. Take care and see you in the next video.